<laughs> we were just talking about the FDA panel uh, authorizing the Pfizer vaccine and questions of accessibility. Sonny, we hadn't gotten to you, and I'd like to do it now. What do you think? You know, I guess I'm a little bit negative Nancy on this one, Sarah. <laughs> it just seems to me that this, is, this pandemic is becoming a case of the have-gots and the have-nots. And I, I just hate to see that. You know, the, we've seen the inequity with communities of color and the disproportionate effect on communities of color. And, and now we're seeing this sort of celebrity cocktail treatment. Let's remind everyone that when Trump got his treatment at Walter Reed, uh, it was a $100,000 treatment. Taxpayers, we paid for his treatment. Most people cannot afford that type of treatment. And uh, I just can't believe that in this country, there are so many people against, you know, universal health care, even during a pandemic. You have the Republicans against universal health care, trying to gut the Affordable Care Act. Yet, those are the people, like the Giuliani's, uh, you know, like Trump, that are able to access this type of Cadillac care. And I am disgusted. Disgusted. I am disgusted by that. I'm, I'm, I, I wouldn't wish this, you know, virus on anyone, and I'm, I'm glad that he is healthy. I'm glad that President Trump was able to recover. But to Anna's point, my yeah. God, these are the people that have access to this type of care when almost 300,000 Americans without that access have died on their watch. And it's just, it's just Look. not fair. Keep in mind, you know, we're not going to see, we're not going to have access to this, uh, to this medication for quite some time. None of us are, are in a, a older folks' home. We're not frontline workers. And so, yeah, I you know, it. I want, well, okay, you, Joy. Okay, you'll get it. Yeah, Joy is <laughs> the only one on the, pan, on the panel who will get it. And we, huh? No, no. You too, no. I think. Over 65. Not yet. Over 65. Not yet. Over, oh, you're not over okay, 65. Yeah. Okay. But no. Okay, but I'm, I'm, also, getting, I'm getting in the I line for chubby because... people. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> no. See, that's the, that's the problem. If, I feel like if you're in an older person's home, then you should have access to it because you're in a position to be with mm -hmm. other people who might also be getting sick. So that makes sense. EMTs and all those folks on the front lines, right. that makes sense yes. to me. I don't understand, though. Again, I understand making sure that the person who's in charge of the country has what they need if they get sick. That makes sense to me. As much as I'm not a fan of his, well, I understand why he would get that treatment. But I don't un what I don't understand is what, again, if you're going to tell me that the beds are getting filled, if you're going to tell me that we're in this position where, you know, people are going to be dying needlessly and you have something that gets people out of the hospital in three days? I mean, come on. That's well, what we know, should have been concentrating you know, is, on as soon as we found yeah. out. The thing about Trump, I, uh, to Sonny's point, is that uh, to, the thing about Trump, that to the point, is that the taxpayer had paid $100,000 for his Regeneron or whatever the heck he got. He's the reason that we mm -hmm. have this widespread chaos and this widespread COVID all over yes. the country. He is the number one reason. Yeah, but so you, it's a little bit heart-wrenching right. and a little annoying that we have to pay for his recovery. You see my point? Well, but we would have to do it. See, this is the thing. We have to pay for it no matter who's in office. No matter who is sitting in that chair, the taxpayers, that's what we, that's what we have to do. What is really piss poor about all of this is it makes me think, well, if, again, if you got something that cures people in three days, why the hell are we going through all of this? But if you've you know, got we'll something be, that we'll can be, cure people in three days, we could have been opened. I yes, asked, so I asked, yeah, so I asked this the question. The line. When, when Al uh, got COVID, when my husband got COVID and got remdesivir, I asked this question. Why can't we have outpatient mm -hmm. centers, like where you go get dialysis, where you go get chemo, where you don't have to be in mm -hmm. the hospital, and people can go get this? And, and what I was told by doctors is that the side effects mm -hmm. of remdesivir are such that you need to be under constant supervision, medical supervision, admitted yeah. in a hospital. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that they can see if right. you're, you know, if it's having a cardiac uh, a secondary uh, effect or if, it's right. if your sugar if somebody shoots is... up. Yes. So they can't yeah, give but it if somebody's in the which hospital, which makes it inaccessible. Right, but if, you're, if you have 5,000 people in a hospital 
and they're going to be there until they get well, why not give them this and free up some of those free up some of those rooms? I mean, I'm not going to be able to take because whatever they're not celebrities. Uh, they put out because there. they're not celebrities. That's why what they and they, the they're just regular people. They're not celebrities. That's how the country is operating right now. Not nice. It's not yes. nice. Well, I, again, I, I, I say I don't understand because we pay tax. We do all this stuff. We pay for all of these oh. things. People keep saying it's we, it, the economy is bad. This is bad. I'm sorry. If you got a miracle drug, give it to everybody so we can get our economy up and running. People can stop fighting about whether they should be putting on a mask. I feel like this is like a setup. You got this it's, drug it's and question. you don't want to share it you and you're saying question. it's too much money. <laughs> Yeah, why couldn't you they know, make Rendesivir anyway. more accessible? Yeah, it's a legitimate question. Well, that's the... Universal health I, I think so, care. and somebody should be able to answer it. Somebody, if, it, if you can get out, if that man who runs the country, he got out in three days. Three days. Then people were upset mm -hmm. with me because I said, well, maybe he wasn't really ill. They said, oh, you're being, you know, crazy. I'm not being crazy, but I've never seen anything like that. And Rudy, same thing, you out in three or four days. Now, who knows what anybody had? And I'm glad they're all up and around, but damn it, I, people are dying. And this appears also to be a miracle drug. Now, we're all gonna wait and get our shots, and, you know, that's what we gotta do, but it's a question worth, a worth asking.